I'm Natalie. Welcome to Cost Cuisine, where I eat my way through Costco for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Costco Kirkland Signature Chicken Penne Alfredo. You can find this in Costco with all the other pre-made meals in the deli section. I paid $17.52 for my tray of Chicken Penne Alfredo, which is actually pretty heavy, and the cost is dependent on the weight of your tray. The best before date on my tray of chicken penne alfredo is five days from the date that it was packaged on. And you could possibly freeze the leftovers after you cook the chicken penne alfredo, but I wouldn't recommend uh, freezing the tray in your freezer before you cook it. I just took the lid off my tray and wow, I have to say it's very aromatic. I can definitely smell garlic. To cook the Costco Kirkland Signature Chicken Penne Alfredo, pour the sauce into a non-stick pan and cook over medium-high heat. When the sauce reaches a medium simmer, add the rest of the contents of your tray to the pan. So the chicken, the pasta, and the cheese, and cook it for about six to eight minutes and the dish is ready to be served when it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure how practical it is to know exactly when it reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit, so use your best judgment. I've got my pan ready to go in the kitchen. I'm gonna cook the Costco chicken penne alfredo, and I'll show you how that goes. I've already preheated my pan over medium high heat, and I'm gonna put the sauce in. This is a huge bag of sauce. I don't really love really saucy pasta, so I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm gonna use the whole pack anyways and just hope that it's tasty. So, I'm gonna pour this in and we're gonna wait till it reaches a medium simmer to add the rest of the contents of the tray. My sauce is simmering. Now I'm going to add the contents of the tray very carefully and hope that I don't get this everywhere. Whew, it's a lot. It's a lot of food in this one tray. Okay, I think we did it. Success. Now I'm going to set a timer for eight minutes. I like to make sure my food is always done. And I'm gonna stir it frequently. So it gets covered in the sauce, gets nice and heated. All right, I think I'm done. The cheese, like the sprinkling of cheese that was on the dish completely melted into the penne alfredo. So it's quite a cheesy dish. Very, very cheesy. Smells really good though. I'm gonna serve myself a plate and then I'm gonna taste it. My meal is done and I've let it cool for a few minutes. So now I'm gonna try it. First thing I noticed is there's pretty large chunks of chicken in the dish. I'll probably cut them just because I feel like they're pretty large. Um, and now I'm gonna try it. Very cheesy. You have to like cheese an Alfredo sauce to like this dish. Um, I noticed maybe like a slight hint of garlic. The chicken is very tender, all white chicken meat. I didn't notice any gristle or fat in my bite. The noodles are a little bit chewy. They're probably like an al dente or a little bit under al dente because um, they are a bit chewy, but I don't mind chewy noodles. Um, I think that there's also the melted cheese from the, the cheese that was on top of the dish. And so basically it's very, very cheesy. 
it's not amazing. I would say it's comparable to like a restaurant that's like Olive Garden or Spaghetti Factory and their chicken alfredo. Um, it's not like a mind blowing dish, but it is tasty. Very salty, probably high in sodium. Let's talk about nutrition facts for the dish. In one sixth of the tray, there's 410 calories, 670 milligrams of sodium, 20 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, three grams of sugar, and one gram of fiber. That's a lot of sodium. Uh, one sixth of the tray is not a very big portion. So if you're watching your sodium intake, you might wanna be cautious of this dish. I glanced over the ingredients list and it basically has every allergen that you can think of, especially gluten and dairy. So if you're gluten intolerant or dairy free, avoid this dish. It also has a ton of preservatives in it. A lot of ingredients that you wouldn't find if you were making a traditional penne alfredo with chicken at home. I've taken a few more bites of the dish and I have to say the chicken tastes a little bit processed and I've also noticed that the alfredo sauce as it cools gets very thick and almost sticky, gummy. Um, when it was in the pan, it looked really nice and thin and really cheesy, but as it sits on the plate, it gets it gets quite thick. I have to say it's not my favorite pasta dish from Costco. I probably prefer their meat lasagna or the four cheese spinach manicotti is also really great. I probably wouldn't buy this again, but if you're somebody who loves Alfredo sauce and is looking for a quick and convenient meal from Costco, give it a try. That's it for my review of the Costco Kirkland Signature Chicken Penne Alfredo. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like to see more Costco food reviews, visit my blog, costcuisine.com. You can find me on social media by searching Cost Cuisine on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned as I keep eating my way through Costco for you.